Good morning, everyone. Well, actually, it's not It's not even morning. Oh, my God. Don't hit me. <gasps> this person's parking beside me. That's literally the fastest I've ever seen anyone back up to, into a spot in my life. He did a perfect job, but, like, damn, he came at the spot really quick. So, I was going to go through the drive through and Starbucks, but it's so wild here, and you missed most of it, but right now, the drive through I'll show you. The drive through um, so see how that guy's turning around? That's because someone's coming in and the rest is full with the drive through So that's off of a street, but see the cars lined up? So, um, I'm not joking, this parking lot, the whole way was filled with drive through people, and I got really, really lucky and found this spot and I was able to back into it. Um... But it's like wild. And then inside the Starbucks, there's so many people as well. And it's like the weirdest thing because it is 1230 and I, I don't know. I've never seen it this busy here. I'm just glad most of it's cleared because I was concerned how I was going to get my car out because it was like you couldn't, no cars could move through this parking lot. Like it was so... Am I filming? Yeah. It was so congested. So I'm actually just like really happy I can move. Oh, the congestion is starting again. So today I am going all the way to Tawasin, which is like an hour drive basically. Oh my gosh, I need chapstick. Ah. Um, yeah, so it's like an hour away and it's I'm going to the outlets. Um, I'm particularly going to Saks Off Fifth. I haven't been there for quite a few years, probably like five years. And I really just want to have a nice, good old, like, 2005 day at the mall. Do you know what I mean? Like, I miss the old days. I miss shopping. I really hope that they have good stuff. I have no idea what they have. Um, it might be really shitty and I might be upset that I didn't spend that time going into Vancouver. Um, but I guess we'll find out. I remember when I'd go there before. They would have really, really good sunglasses. I got crazy deals on sunglasses. Like, you can get Dior sunglasses. I mean, I don't know now. The prices might be so different. But about five years ago, you can go get Dior sunglasses that were... I don't even... Like, maybe one season old at the most. And they would be $200. And I would see the same sunglasses at the store for like $600. So crazy deals to be had there. Um, I don't know. I never bought any clothes, but I would, I, I feel like they had cute things. I don't, I just never found anything for me really. And then they would have nice shoes, but like typically they wouldn't have my size or something like that. And I remember them having really cute wallets. They would have like Mark, uh, Mark Jacobs wallets and stuff like that. And then I also believe they had good makeup. And one thing I hope to find is a good foundation brush. I don't know if they have makeup brushes, but I need a, a new, like a good foundation brush. I, I've been using a bunch, but like the, the main one I use, well, main two I use are the Sephora brand ones from Sephora and I actually really like them but they are starting to um like lose their hairs now and I've had them for quite a few years and I do clean them pretty aggressively so and when I bought those those were around, around like $50 each I feel like now the world is insane and everything's so expensive so who knows how much those cost now which $50 for a makeup brush even back in the day to me it's just like it's a brush like I don't know what's going on like why is it costing so much okay so I had to go get a new coffee uh I was drinking that coffee and I don't know why it just it was the worst coffee I've ever had I don't I don't know why because I have Starbucks coffee all the time and it was a medium roast and it just it was disgusting like I couldn't drink it anymore so I got a iced latte because I just don't even want to deal with the coffee right now. Like the, um, the brewed coffee. Because I don't know what was up with that. 
And then I stopped because I'm in Cloverdale and then there's this little candy shop right next to Starbucks. So I figured I would <laughs> get a little candy for the road. So I just got a little bit, you know, portion control here. Mmm. Really good. There was this lady in the store. Um she had a few kids with her and I can see her getting into her car and she's just wearing like an oversized um what do you want to call it like not a dress shirt like a it's almost like it almost looks like a soft like flannel -y material but it's like a button up shirt like casual you know what I mean um she just has her hair in like a messy bun and she has some earrings on I can't remember what they look like. I don't know. Um, she's actually just wearing sweatpants and sneakers. So when you think about it, it's like ridiculously casual. You know, she probably just like, who knows? Maybe she didn't even shower and she just like put this together. But she looks so stylish. Like I just seen her getting into her car and I'm like, oh, like that lady looks so good. She looks so stylish. I never put my hair up in a bun. I feel like it never has that nice messy bun look and I think it's because I have really fine hair and it's like really um flat to my head I feel like people that have like that thicker coarser hair can do those really good messy buns but yeah just I just wanted to mention her outfit because it was like so effortless but she looks so chic. She looks so stylish and put together, even though it's when you really like decipher it, it was very casual and she probably put no thought into it. And I think that's actually some of the best fashion is when you, and I've noticed this even with, with myself, when you're just like really not putting any effort and then you just grab stuff and it's almost like it just works so well because you didn't put effort into it i don't know you know what i mean so she had that look going on okay so this is the outlet mall and i am in tawasin so we're heading into Saks off fifth and i'm really excited because i haven't been here for so long they have a tommy hilfiger as well beside here and then over there they have it's called dsw designer shoe warehouse i've never been in there so I want to check that out. I actually really like Tommy Hilfiger stuff, you guys. Like I don't, I don't think it's cool at all. But um, for me, I find really cute things there sometimes. Like I like a lot of their stuff. So I'm gonna go in there too. And it's really bright out. I can't even see my phone. It's on like a really bright setting, and it just looks black. But um, I'm glad. I came here and it was a nice drive, it wasn't really busy, and um, yeah, nice day to come. And then also too, because it's a weekday, it's be it's good because it's not too busy. Look at this, they're advertising Valentino. Do you think they have Valentino? I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm looking at the jeans for brands. They have like Joe's jeans, they have Seven for All Mankind. Um, I actually really like flares. These are too small. They say it's 27, but there's no way that's a 27. Let's check out the prices. Okay, so $75 for these. What does it say that they're new? $265. They have Levi's. What's the price? $30. Um, what are these? Those could actually be really cool. Oh my gosh, Fidelity. Oh! <gasps> I love Fidelity denim. I used to always wear Fidelity jeans. I really wish I actually kept some of mine. These would be really cute for summer. I don't think this is my size. I don't know what size this is. Where's the tag? Like, there's no info. 27, yeah. Those are cute. Um, I don't know what snacks. I've never heard of that brand. Joe's jeans, Levi's, Citizens of Humanity. 
There was one pair I like. I'm just not sure about um, these ones. These seven for all mankind. They're called Easy Slim. It says size 26, but they kind of look big, so I feel like they might fit me. I used to be a size 26. Now I'm like, I fluctuate between like 27, 28, 26. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not like big on rips too much. Um, but I might be willing to try because look at the price. They're only $35. And, you know, they could just be a good... Oh, they have flowers on them. I didn't even notice that, you know. Huh. How do I feel about the flowers? So, I'll try these. I've never heard of this brand, Snacks. Um, Joe's Jeans. I don't know. I don't... I'm just like, I don't mind like one rip potentially, <laughs> but I don't want more rips. But yeah, as you can see, like the prices are really cheap. They have a whole stack of Levi's super skinny, like wow, $30. Wow, I'm actually really tempted by this. You know what? Even though skinny jeans are supposedly out of trend, I find myself wanting to wear them still and I do wear them <laughs> sometimes I just feel like skinny jeans can look really put together you just I feel like it's a it's more of a polished look and that's sometimes why I crave the skinny jean look still what else see that's just way too much rippage I don't like that. Okay, so here's some shorts. What is this? Oh, Seven for All Mankind. These are cute. Size 28. These are actually very cute jeans. It says 28, but I don't know. Is that a 28? What's the price? $60. Like, that's a good deal. Um, these are cute. These look too big, I think, for me. Very cute, though. I don't, these ones? I wonder if they fit. Those are pretty nice. I guess I, I don't really need shorts right now though. Okay, so they have these shoes on clearance, $49.99 and up, and they have shut shoes, and I've seen these ones here that are really nice. $70, very cute. These are nice, very like New Year's Eve shoes. These are really nice Vince Camuto shoes or boots. They are too big for me though, size nine, but they are $120 and they're really nice. Like you can feel they're nice quality. This is what I'm wearing today. It's a really simple outfit. I'm wearing these uh, flared leggings I got from um, American Eagle and these New Balance shoes, which are kind of relatively new. And then I'm wearing this like old, very simple black top that I got from Lord and Taylor like years and years ago and I just put my Burberry cardigan on top. I just wanted to be comfortable and that is a look so I'm going to try on some things for you guys. Okay, so first is this sweater from uh, Saks Off Fifth that is actually the brand so it's their own line. I think it's really cute. I kind of tucked it in here. Uh, this is what it looks like untucked and it's like a nice um it's definitely like a synthetic knit but it's like very tightly woven and you can tell it's like nice quality it's thick if that makes sense and i think it's just like kind of timeless and it is a mock neck so i might get this this is 70 dollars, i think but i think it's like really it's classy right it's like really nice and timeless I just worry about washing it is the black going to run into the white and wreck the white <laughs> I don't know I think it's really nice okay I thought I was filming but I wasn't so this is an Eileen Fisher uh, cashmere sweater turtleneck and it is $185 here, and it is normally $275, I guess. But I thought I'd really like it. It's a really beautiful color. I don't know if it's if it's coming across to you guys how it is in real life. But I don't know. 
outside. Like, the color's beautiful. But with... I feel like maybe it's coming across kind of thin. Let me know what you guys think. If you really like this, though, they, do, they did have quite a few of them, so you can come and get it. It is 100% cashmere, so the price is good for cashmere. But, and Eileen Fisher's a really good brand as well. I'm just not... It's just okay, right? So these are the seven for all mankind jeans I showed you guys on the rack with the flowers on the back. I don't think they look the worst. Like I'm not really into them, but it's what's worse than how they look though by a long shot is the way they feel. Have you ever tried on jeans that are just like so ridiculously stiff? Like I don't know. It's like the way they're made. <laughs> it's like I can't move and it's like yes they're a little tight but not really like I still got them on there's still room in the waist um but it's like they're just not made correctly and I feel like that's why they wound up here <laughs> like what? anyways not cute and yeah that's what they look like okay now I am trying on Calvin Klein dress pants they have a really nice slinky feel to them like they're really um i love the way they fall but i don't know something about the top of them and i don't know if it's because i tucked in my sweater can you guys see like i don't it's just not maybe they're okay maybe i'm just being crazy they are really long i would need to get them hemmed but i like the I just like the way they fall and they pull at the bottom. I think it's really flattering. So these are fifty dollars. Um, I'm not entirely sure about them, but they are pretty nice, right? With heels, you know. I just think for fifty dollars, you know, you can have some nice dress pants. Or nowadays, like everything's so much money. Um, you know, at least $150, like at a Ritzier, $200 for pants. So these get that nice, like on-trend look for only $50. So I'm just wondering if they do fit right. So it has changed so much from a long time ago because there used to be like so many sunglasses and now there's not there's only this much and before it used to be like this huge l-shaped thing and just packed with like every single brand like prada versace everything and now it's just like kate spade mostino um yeah that's about it so totally different in the beginning of my video i'm like i just want to come to the mall and have like a 2005 day shopping experience but it's like not the same because back in 2005 Everything was so good. I used to love going shopping. Now everything's like overpriced. It's hard to even find anything good. I feel like everyone's about to lose their job. Like everything's shutting. Like I'm gonna show you guys. So I don't wanna videotape these people, but I just want you to see like, yeah, this is tax office, like looking in the window. And even you can see like all those shelves are empty. They're nearly empty, which is really giving off vibes like they're about to shut. So I don't know if that's true. I think there's too many people shopping on Amazon nowadays. And I really try not to shop on Amazon. The only time I shop on Amazon is if like, I cannot find what I need and I need to get it from Amazon. But it's putting a lot of people out of work. And it's just not the same anymore. So I'm gonna go in Kate Spade. I guess I have a Kate. Um, let's see what it's like. I probably can't film because people are just like really crazy everywhere nowadays, but we'll see. Okay. 
cute. These are really cute too, but I feel like they must have a chain inside. It's like a little cup of ramen, little bag, and then there's like a little, I don't know, what is this? this? Oh, I thought it was ramen. Oh, it's like coffee. I'm confused. But so cute. Oh, this is like a little keychain thing. Really adorable. So the girl told me everything is 75% off. This was like $200, 215 or something. So whenever you see the price, I guess. So this is $329, so it's 75% off. I like that blue dress over there. It's really cute. A little Beauty and the Beast book bag. That's cute. These are really cute weekender bags. I love this one with the multicolor. So they are five hundred nineteen dollars, and then I think today they're up to seventy five percent off. Really nice though. And then there's this one, which is nice as well. I really like. Okay, so Kate Spade had quite a few cute things, especially if you're looking for a new wallet. They had like really cute stuff in there and the prices were pretty good. Um, I don't know, I might go into Tommy Hilfiger after. Uh, they have a Michael Kors. Uh, they have an Aritzia. I don't know if Aritzia is like the normal Aritzia. I think I might go in here and check it out, but I'm gonna show you they also have Michael Kors, and then, yeah, I really do want a new sweatsuit. Um, it's pretty quiet in here today, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna go into Ritzia. So I'm just gonna try on this little bodysuit. Slouchiness of it. That's why I'm thinking like it might even be better in a medium. But it's not bad, right? And then these jeans are just like a little too tight, as you can see. They're very wide leg and then they are cropped at the bottom. I really like them, but they didn't have the size I need, and the size is just like slightly too tight. Yeah, I love the sweater, it's really nice. Okay, I don't think these are very flattering and it's weird because they're size small, but they I tried to do them up as tight as I could But they still feel like really loose here as you can see and I just think the tapering of the leg is actually like a little bit too much Obviously my socks aren't the cutest thing with them like maybe if you were wearing a strappy heel These could be like really cute. I don't know. They look so cute on the rack and they're just not Doing it. I like the pockets though Sweater is a definite yes. I think it's really nice. So these are those vintage kind of wash jeans. They are like a straight leg, almost to a skinny, but looser. I think that they're pretty cute. Um, I'm just not like entirely sure about them. I really like those wide leg ones. Those were really cute. What I would say is honestly, this mall is a massive disappointment. I had a really hard time finding anything I liked. And I feel like I really tried to. So I did get the cashmere sweater from Banana Republic. Um, 
there is a Banana Republic factory store near where I live, so to drive all the way out here for that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, so that sweater was like $95, and it is cashmere, so, you know, I'm fine with that price. And then the other one, you know, I feel like that's actually kind of expensive because it's just like a cheap material, but it was a nice style, and that was, like, with tax, I think it was like 80 bucks. so... That's all I got. Um, not very exciting. And I'm starving. I don't know what there is to, to eat around here. I see a Montana's behind me. <sighs> I'm just really hungry. And in some ways, I almost feel like a glass of wine or something. Why is this lady driving with her hazards on? Um, so, yeah, to Watson Mills, I don't know. You know where it is actually I was shocked and, like, so much better it is so much better way more worth your time is go to the MacArthur Glen outlets by the YVR airport in Richmond that outlet mall or whatever you want to call it because it's all outside that was actually surprisingly good and I'm not a person that likes outlet malls at all I I, I find them always disappointing and that one was actually really good they had Maj and they had a lot of cute stuff. They had moose knuckles. I'm not like big on that brand, but if you are into it, they had a massive selection of coats. They also had a huge, uh, they had a macage store, which had like a lot of coats and they were actually a pretty good price. And then they had, um, they had Kate Spade. It was disappointing. The Kate Spade outlet in this mall is actually better than the Kate Spade outlet in the MacArthur Glen outlets. Um, Oh, they had a uh, Tory Burch outlet and the Tory Burch outlet was actually very good at MacArthur Glen. So that was about a year ago. No, two years ago. I was last there, but if I'm going to waste my time again, like I am not coming here. I will definitely go to the Richmond outlets. So much better. The quality is so much better. This was just like really sad and disappointing. The stores were pretty sad. Um, Everything just felt really cheap and shitty and, you know, it's getting to the point with shopping where I feel like I'm finding the same quality at H&M as I'm finding anywhere. And you know what place is really coming up top and, like, staying strong, I feel, is Banana Republic. Like, I feel like Banana Republic, they decided not to take down their quality, but they decided to raise their prices. And so in these economic times, I feel like most businesses have decided to just, you know, let's just cheapen the quality. And Aritzia is one of the worst. Aritzia has gone downhill so much in the last couple years. It's awful. And I, I just think that, you know, the strategy that Banana Republic is doing is the correct st strategy. Like if you're trying to make it in hard economic times, do not like decrease your product quality because that's going to completely suffocate and ruin your business like you need to keep your quality good and then just raise your price and if people can afford to consume it then they will afford to consume it because in my opinion that was such a smart strategy because now they're really coming out on top like I don't know how their stock's doing everything's going to shit for sure but it's like you know there are people I know there are so many people because I keep, I keep seeing these videos. I put out a video like this. There are people frustrated with the quality of clothing. And it is like, it's not just a few brands that have gone down. It is almost every single brand. Everywhere you go, it is like synthetic, horrible, cheap quality. You can see that with one wash, two washes, it's going to like look like shit. And, you know, I think the best thing, instead of just like making the whole planet filled with crap why not just raise the price if you need to raise the price and then see what happens you know if you don't make it you don't make it and I just think that's a smart way to do things I don't think we need to continue with the degradation of society and contributing to it it's bad enough as it is um I'm driving around looking for something to eat there's a &W, Mary's Brown Chicken uh I don't know this is like a huge Harry's Fish and Chips. I've never heard of that. Oh, this is like a big, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like big box store plaza, I guess. I'm driving around. This area, I don't know why they put so much, so much of everything here because I don't even know 
I guess they're planning on, they're probably planning on massive development in this area just for the fact that they've added all the stores. Starbucks, which is literally like my favorite freaking place. Honestly, everything is so disappointing in life, but Starbucks makes me happy typically. And by the way, my coffee problem, I think is me. And I think it's from being sick. My taste buds are all messed up. So I, I started drinking that medium roast coffee, right? And I told you guys, I was like, I don't know what's up with this. It's really, really bitter. And um, so then I went to another Starbucks like right away and I got a iced, um, I got an iced latte. And, and I, even that was really bitter and that's not the case because like, I just know that's not the case. So I'm just looking for somewhere to eat. Um, so just the fact that it was that better also like that just told me it's something up with my taste buds. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I will wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.